Today on CWN, what clubs are you in? And do you have your Spirit Day costume ready? I'm Kendall. And I'm Nathan, and today is Tuesday, September 10th, 2019. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Pledge to the Texas Flag. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Are you interested in going on a STEM discovery trip to San Francisco this summer? Go by Ms. Vincent's room to get a flyer or go to the informational meeting tonight at 6 p.m. in the library. Salsa Club is meeting members. Are you interested? Cal and BPA will meet Thursday at 4 o'clock in room 603. Mark your calendars. BPA officer elections will be held on September 26th. Those wishing to run for an officer position must have their applications turned in and dues paid by this Thursday to qualify. See Mr. Rourke or Mr. O'Brien for details. And I hope you're ready at the phones because it is time for your daily giveaway. Here's Riley with today's question. Thank you, Kendall. Today's giveaway is brought to you by Southern Charm, your local home cooking restaurant. Today's question is, what phone launches tomorrow? Be the first to call 7702 with correct answer to win. Back to you guys. Thank you, Hooper. Robotics will be meeting in room 409 Wednesday after school. If you are interested, here's what robotics is all about. Who are you? I'm no one. I was raised to do one thing. But I've got nothing to fight for. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. stories about what happened. It's true. All of it. The dark side. A Jedi. It's calling to you. Just let it in. Class officer elections will open tomorrow at 8 a.m. and close Thursday at 4 p.m. Go to the library homepage to access the ballot links for your class. You may only vote for representatives in your class. Brody, we have the rundown on sports right after this short message. Hey, man, I waited 12 hours online. Just to I waited 15. You waited 15. Heck yeah. All right, dog, bro.
Thank you guys and good morning Wildcats. Today's sports is brought to you by Diamond Cut Graphics with all your designer needs. Today the volleyball girls have a game today at George West. Good luck Lady Cats. And, Nat and Natalie caught up with, the, with Coach McGinnis uh, to talk about the upcoming soccer season. Let's take a look. All right, good morning, Cal Wildcats. It's Natalie here with Coach McGinnis. So, Coach McGinnis, can you tell us a little bit more how soccer's going? Uh, soccer's going great right now. Uh, we're only allowed to practice in the mornings during the class period, so we're trying to get as much touches in in the class period as we can. Uh, but we also have pickup Friday afternoons from 4.30 to 5.30, and anyone is welcome to join and come out and play soccer. All right, so how are you all preparing to get ready for soccer season? Uh, like I said, we can't really prepare too much yet, uh, but I am encouraging everyone who wants to join soccer to come out to pick up um, and practice and get your touches in. So how, how do you think y'all are going to do this year? How is the team looking? Uh, soccer in our district is going to be pretty rough because we do play two Laredo schools, and Flower Bluff didn't graduate any seniors. Uh, so we're really fighting for fourth place for playoff berth against GP, and we're going to be pretty evenly matched. Uh, so it's going to be a pretty tough season, uh, but I think we can do some good work. All right, thank you, Coach Minas. Thank you. That's all for me. Back to you. This Friday, we are having a game in Needville. The spirit this week is hippie or tie-dye. Make sure to dress up and show your spirit and be groovy. Well, that's the latest on Callan Sports. Here's Clarissa with more. graders, if you are interested in taking the PSAT test that will be given Wednesday, October 16th, please sign up in the counseling office before Friday, October 4th. Sign up with your payment of $17 cash or make payable to Callan High School. Seats are limited to register ASAP. Juniors who receive free and or reduced lunch may be eligible for a free waiver. For more information, please visit the counseling office. Thank you, Carissa. We have an update on the construction on for the new West Campus. Here's Sloan with more. Good morning, y'all. I'm, I'm here with Mr. Binger, uh, head of construction at, on the new school. So, Mr. Binger, was this morning's uh, concrete pour successful? Yes, very successful. We had a little weather delay earlier with some lightning, but we made it through and everything went well. That's good. So, uh, what's next for your construction crew? We continue with some underground sewer and uh, keep pouring more foundation on the on the building foundation, some more pours on it, concrete pours. Yes, sir. That sounds cool. Uh, so, how long is this building going to take to build? It is, it'll be completed uh, August of 2020. Be ready for the 2020 school year. Uh, how many kids are going to be able to attend this school? Uh, around 1,600 students will be able to attend this school. Wow, that's a lot. Thank you very much. You that's all for me. Now back to you. Attention juniors and seniors. Do you know what your future has in store for you? College, career, military? Now is the time to plan for your future. The Ready for College and Career Conference is taking place September 25th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the American Bank Center with the Workforce Solutions of the Coastal Bend. You choose Expo. Juniors and seniors are invited to attend. Sign up in the counseling office by Friday, September 13th. Omno will have the weather for you right after this commercial break. Hey there, Cal Allen Wildcats. I'm RJ, and this morning we have a very important reminder for you involving the safety of all students and staff here at our school. guys so as you saw in the video these doors leading to the ag buildings are the only doors you are allowed to use in the mornings and afternoons okay once all the doors in the schools are activated there will be alarms going off so please stick to these doors only remember you have to buzz in and it's for the safety of all students and staff thank you so much guys thank you guys and good morning Wildcats. today's segment is brought to you by oh goody designs and events by joanne winberger now today we are looking at temperatures around 92 degrees with around a 20% chance of rain and winds of southeast around 25 miles per hour. Through our day we are currently looking at temperatures staying constantly in the 80s with a minimal chance of rain and winds of southeast around 16 miles per hour. And let's take it to John outside. Good morning, Callan. It's mostly cloudy in the mid-80s and winds going 6 miles per hour. That's it from you. Now back to you. 
Thank you, John. Now, our regenerator, y'all can see that we do have those hints of rain that are out there that will be pushing their way inland as the week goes on, and we will be seeing some light showers as well. In our U.S. mount, we see that North Texas and Central Texas is currently getting a bit of rain at the moment, as well as the majority of the rain that is hovering above the Great Lakes at the moment. And then as we move on throughout the week, the southeastern states will be seeing an increase in their temperature at a record high of this week, while the western states will be seeing a record low of cool temperatures as we head out throughout the week. Now in the next couple of days, we're looking at highs in the 90s with lows in the 70s with minimal chance of rains, about 40% on Tuesday and Wednesday, and winds in the southeast around 20 miles per hour. And we are looking at some partly cloudy skies, guys. Thank you for that forecast, Alma. The answer to today's giveaway was iPhone 11, and the winner was Mr. Brooks. Congra congratulations. And that's all your announcements for today. Now it's time for your joke of the day. So, guys, what is our pessimist blood type? I don't know, Nathan. What? B negative. <laughs> <laughs> for all your such people out there, make sure you're following us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Cal Island TV for, for all the latest updates. Also, subscribe to us here on YouTube to catch all the latest videos. And as always, stay, stay classy, Cal Island. Island.